Well, let me show you my chicken water heater. Right now, it's, I just looked before I started the camera. It's 29 degrees. It got under 21 this morning. And uh, typically, we don't get around, we don't get down that cold too often, but when we do, the water uh, will freeze, the chicken water. Normally, I use an automatic waterer uh, over there on a hose, but I've drained my well because we're gonna get so cold. And, um, anyway, so someone, uh, once before I did a video and basically asks, asked all you Northern folks, how y'all do this, how y'all cope with the freezing temperatures and the water heaters, uh, uh, chicken waters and animals and stuff like that. And someone gave me this wonderful idea. I wish I knew which one of you did that. I would give you the credit for it. So what I did last night, and I've got several, <laughs> it looks like a Christmas story, doesn't it? <laughs> Just one too many. Uh, but I've got a timer on this that runs my overhead light, that runs my um, uh, electric fence that's around the chicken coop. And another timer here that runs, that's the, that's the timer here that runs the overhead light. But anyway, but I plugged in, this is the water heater. And basically I took a an incandescent 60 watt bulb on one of those um, ceramic fixtures, placed it inside what is half of a height block that I just happen to have, set the water heater on top, I mean set the waterer on top, and it kept the water from freezing last night. It is a chicken waterer heater, waterer heater. So worked real well last night. Again, got down 21. It's supposed to get down maybe a little colder than that tonight, which is very, very cold for East Texas. We don't normally get into the uh, teens, and I think we will tonight and tomorrow night. Well, here's what it looks like at night. The uh, got a little orange glow to it. Pretty nice. Chickens are are in their little on their roost. That lights on a timer. It'll go off in a couple of hours. And uh, anyway, that's what it looks like at night with the light in. Pretty cool. Keeps it warm. So um, anyway, if you're up north and it's 20 below, then this may not work for you. But if you're in the south, this uh, might very well work for you. Um, it's a little chicken water. Again, just a heat up block under there. And the... Uh, uh, water is protected. A little concern that some water would get down on that fixture, maybe short it out, but uh, it didn't. And uh, it's uh, it's water, not ice. So they've got uh, they've got water to drink this morning. I was a little concerned about them. Very good, very good. I am proud of this, and I, whoever told me about this, I appreciate it. It worked. You ought to try it yourself if you are looking for a way to keep your chicken waters water from freezing. This worked real well for me. All right, wanted to show you that. We are gone.